This video is going to cover the two simple variables that I'm going to keep in tune with my offseason plan in order to become the best wrestler in the United States for my weight class. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to have two simple variables to keep in tune with this plan. Variable one is going to be training and variable two is going to be diet. Let's get right into it. All right, so training is going to be offseason practice, which is like a OTC is like an offseason wrestling camp in my area and it meets two times a week. And I'm going to also be doing OTC tournaments, which is tournaments hosted by, I think, the off-season team. And then I'm going to that once a month because that's as, mu as much as they're hosted. I'm also going to be practicing in my basement because I have some mats, which you all see me wrestling on um, a little later into the video, twice a week. And I'm also going to be wrestling, um, you know, I'm going to be watching wrestling move videos and, uh, you know, big tournament videos three times a week in order to just suck up some more information and to continue expanding my general like brain power, my knowledge when it comes to that kind of stuff. All right. So for daily training, um, I go to the gym after school and every single one of my sets, except the ones specially marked, are three sets of failure plus one drop set. All right. So for chest and try, I do a three day split, by the way. So chest and try is going to be bench press, incline press, pec flies, overhead tricep extensions, tricep pushdowns and lat raises. Back and by is going to be deadlift, four sets of four to six reps. Seated rows, single arm pull downs, lat pull downs to pull overs. That's a superset. And then I just do that twice. I do these, this superset. This, so this is one superset, and I do this twice. All right. Barbell bicep curls, seated bicep curls, hammer curls, and face pulls. All right. Hammer curls, you can either do that with the rope attachment or you can do it with dumbbells. And then I also, for legs, I do squats, four sets of four to six. Um, I do alternate squat variant, which is typically like a hack squat. I do leg press. Uh, and then I do like a leg press Sam Sulek. I saw Sam Sulek do it in one of his videos and I hit it the other, like yesterday and it felt fucking divine, bro. I'm not even going, it was so good. Uh, I also do leg extensions. I do leg crunches and I do calf raises. All right. So as well as this for when I'm doing bracement practice, I do shadow wrestling. I do two rounds of six minutes each and then I do cardio daily, which is, you know, I, I personally do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, uh, bumping up the the level every 10 to 5 minutes i go like 10 minutes in bump it up to 12 from 11 to 12 uh five minutes later bump it up to 13 one minute later bump it up to 14 one minute later bump it up to 15 and then keep it at 15 for the next two minutes three minutes all right and per week i have one rest day which is wednesday for me all right so as well as all of this you can so this is a great this is a great split that i personally follow and i it's been helping me grow but if you're not training with the intention to grow stronger in a wrestling aspect, like imagine yourself with every movement. Say you're doing tricep pushdowns. Imagine you got someone's head right here. You're holding onto their neck and you're just pushing them down to the mat. You're pushing. You're pushing. All right. You do every single one of these exercises with that in mind, with a wrestling move in mind that you're you're working to, to gain more strength for. Because at the end of the day, this isn't for hypertrophy. We're not trying to grow our muscles bigger and look more aesthetic. We're trying to become stronger in order to become a better wrestler. And our endurance is being trained by cardio. Like, I don't know how you would um go into that with a wrestling idea. Like, you're on the Stairmaster. Yeah, I'm shadow wrestling on the stair. No. So, for cardio, is fine as long as you're getting your heart rate up. But have the intention of growing your strength with all of these, all the moves, movements you do. All right. So, variable two, we're zooming right through this. It's going to be diet, diet. All right, for me, I do three meals a day, um, and they all include one of each of these. And I do, uh, sometimes I do a little soy sauce in there. But for carbs, we got pasta, rice, bread, dark chocolate, rolled oats, peanut butter, honey. Peanut butter is in between proteins and carbs, but I put it more at carbs. If anything, it's more of a fat, but I don't have a fat section. All right. Proteins, it's going to be tuna, ground turkey, ground beef, chicken, and yogurt. I have ground turkey uh, like every fucking day. It's ridiculous. I, I have a pound for dinner mixed with rice or pasta. All right, and then you can throw some soy sauce on there. That's like low cal. I think it's five calories per tablespoon. And then you can throw some sriracha sauce on there as well. All right. I also sometimes have snacks, up to two snacks a day of dark chocolate. I take like four little pieces out of a bar bread or pasta you know it, it, it's a lot like this you know just it's just a snack whatever whatever snack you got honestly whatever works to give you a little boost of energy go for it all right 
Combine a carb and protein for every meal, like I already said. Uh, fats, I don't really keep track of, or I don't like mentally put a fat in each of my meals. I guess you could count soy sauce and sriracha as a fat, but I don't know. Um, I don't actually think soy sauce has any fat in it. Sriracha sauce, I don't know. But you uh, can track your macros if you want, but I personally have been growing just fine without doing so. As long as I, I, as long as I eat healthy and uh, lift, I pretty much eat whatever I want, within reason. I say, um, I also, yeah, within reason. Within reason is so important because you're not gonna be taking cheat days if you're eating within reason and it's sustainable. Like I'll have my school lunch, which is usually not too healthy. It's like a chicken wing and like a, a waffle or something. But I'm allowing myself to have different foods as long as I look at it and I'm like, all right, this isn't like overly fatty, overly salty, overly saucy. You know, I, I make sure I, I can eat whatever I want because I lift with such intensity and I'm also a big ass dude. I'm like 190. It's not that big, but well, it is pretty big, but it's not as big as some people get. But for me, eating whatever I want, has been maintaining my weight and also allowing me to gain more muscle uh, as long as I, I do get in these good meals uh, at least twice a day you know i'm like i said in my lunch uh typically lunch I, I eat the school lunch so it's not it's probably not as nutritious as you could be getting but during the weekends i absolutely have a yogurt bowl with rolled oats peanut butter and um a banana in there like it's 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 amazing so yeah you can check your macros you know play around with that um but i don't know whatever floats your boat bro so here we're going to cut to like a, a segment where I'm going to showcase myself doing each thing um, as I state them. All right. I don't know if it's going to be a voice overlay or not yet, but I'll figure that out in post. So my daily routine, 6 to 620, is going to be wake up, cold shower, and chores. All right. I, I wake up, I head downstairs, I chore up, and then I go upstairs, I do cold shower, as well as I take my supplements. Okay. Um, and then 6.20 to 7, it's going to be getting ready to school. 7 to 2.15 is school time. Uh, 2.15 to 3 is going to be walking to the gym. 3 to 5 is weight training and cardio. 5 to 6 is eating and shower. And that's about where my day ends when it comes to, like, growing as a wrestler. All right. So, uh, I'll go over that one more time. I wake up. I do my chores. I take my supplements. I do a cold shower. Then I get ready for school. Then I go to school, and then I walk to the gym, and then I weight train, and I do my cardio, and then I eat and shower, all right? On rest days, they're, we're not doing, we're doing active rest days. That's what, that's what I'm doing, at least. I go down into my basement, and I do those two rounds of shadow wrestling on my active rest days, okay? Uh, to just do it at the time you would usually do your training during the day. You know, pick a time. It'll, it'll only take like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Just got up. It's um six o'clock in the morning. Um I'm about to do some uh dishes and take my supplements. I look like shit, man. What the fuck? This is what we're looking at in terms of uh, supplements. We got two ashwagandha, two agmatine sulfate, one scoop of creatine, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What's up? About to hop into the ice, ice cold shower, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm tired as so hell. This will hopefully wake me up, and I'll be good for uh for the day. Sigma. That spin like a rotisserie chicken. Oh. Uh. Every morning. 
So now I'm going to just drink my coffee. I'm going to um, drink my creatine, and we're pretty much just going to relax until we have to head over to school. Uh, and then today is my rest day, so I'm not going to be going to the gym today. But I will likely cut to tomorrow of me walking to the gym or getting a ride to the gym because sometimes I, I'm able to, to hook a ride with one of the seniors. But yeah, um, and by chill, like I'm chilling right now, uh, I'm probably just going to post a few things on social media. I'm still working on this whole business model thing. So, um, yeah, that's why I like to get some work done now. But everything else throughout my day isn't really related to wrestling, so I'm not really going to include it in this, you know, this video. All right. Cut to me walking to the gym. All right, so this is the basement. Uh, I'll turn some motherfucking lights on over here. Shut up. All right, that should be good. So, this is, uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, wow, it's really bright. Basement, oh, yeah. Uh, here, I'll set y'all up somewhere uh, for just a little bit. Get you all know, that set up. So, basically, practice, shadow wrestle on these mats. Looks like when it's set up, just laid out a mat. Have a little bit of an extra piece over there if I need it. And typically, I'm gonna do two six minute rounds of wrestling, shadow wrestling. And then I can also just do some shots and shot practice if I feel like it. Uh, oh, my fucking cat. But the most important part of this is doing your shot practice, or I mean, doing the your live wrestling. Get your ass out of here, what the fuck? Can I reverse this camera? Look at this shit, you're not supposed to be in here. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. Bitch, you're scared, coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the- I mentioned this earlier, but the key to this is just to work up a sweat. I just want to be a little tired after doing this. And also I get to work on my technique some more. Keep myself uh, sharp so I don't rust during the season, off season. I should be going to OTC practices next week. It starts up next week. And tournaments are once a month, so I'll be doing that as well. But this is my motherfucking sport, bro. I'm about to be the king of this shit. <sighs> Just got to keep practicing. I'm nowhere near perfect right now. But eventually I'll get there. <sighs> so yeah, that's uh, next round. Finished up two two rounds, two wrestling matches. Um, shadow wrestling is definitely harder than having an actual person to wrestle with you, but I still got through it. I feel like I I sharpened my, I just re reminded myself of what I can do in wrestling and how it works again. Felt good. I'm gonna go one extra round today. One extra two minute. Actually, it'll be one minute overtime. I need to score a point all out. Just full ballistic, leave all my energy out here on the mat, and then I'm gonna head upstairs, take a shower, get some work done, all right? Let's go. We got meal prep going. There it at. This is my dinner tonight. Ground turkey. Soy sauce and pasta. It's chest day. We're going to the gym. 190 pounder. I'm at that already, so I don't even got to do nothing for that. But we're just going to do a little bench, a little incline. Little chest flies and um Every and yeah. fucking week. Fuck, I hate my fucking job. Alright man, go down. Let's then get some points here, damn it.
soy sauce and some plain pasta. You know, uh, good macros on the turkey, good macros on the pasta. We got our protein, got our carb. Um, overall, a very balanced meal. All right, so to to go over everything and to go over what my idea, what I have in mind is while I'm going through this. It's it's this this quote this quote that I that I got right here. I think I made it myself. I did. <laughs> Copyrighted Caleb James. All right. In order to be the best, I simply have to work harder than anyone else. This is the mindset that Hormozzi has adopted, Asta from Black Clover has adopted, and I'm personally trying to adopt myself. If I want to be better than everyone else, every other wrestler in my weight class, I need to outperform and outtrain them. Just outtrain them until I eventually outperform them. With training comes performance. So if I'm training twice as much as they are, I'm going to be twice as good in I'm going to catch up twice as fast. I'm going to be, if I want to be the best wrestler ever, I just need to train harder than the person who's currently the best. Okay? This this will help you adopt, you know, what I said into your own mindset. If, you're, if you don't actually want it, if you don't actually want to be the best, then of course you're not going to do this shit. Of course you're not going to eat healthy um, for two out of your three meals. And of course you're not going to, fucking train every day and and consistently shadow wrestle and improve your technique because you don't feel like being the best or at least you don't want it as much as someone else does someone else being me playing but it's people think they they deserve greatness and greatness doesn't come without true work being put in work that other people aren't willing to put in and that's why I have the cold shower in the morning, too, is because no one else is doing a cold shower at fucking, you know, six o'clock in the morning in my state. Maybe. Actually, that might not be true. But if they're doing it and I'm doing it, then I'm, I'm at least staying even. And then if I do some extra stuff later that they're not doing, then that means I'm, I'm working harder than them and I'm getting farther than them and I'm improving faster than them. OK, so always remember. In order to be the best. Simply work harder than anyone else. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go become the best wrestler now. Bye-bye.